Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. It is another beautiful day here in New York State. Everyone at this point is pretty tapped out energy-wise. Taking some time to just rest and recharge your batteries, especially after our late night exploring that hotel. So I have opted to man the helm of the van and I'm taking a drive up into the mountains and kind of see what I can find and what kind of adventures I can find. Just have some time to myself to rest and recharge as well. So let's see what kind of fun things we can find. I found the hotel that we went into and I'm going to show it to you in the daytime here. Here she is. Wow, it's so much bigger than I even realized. So that's what she said. No time, but she did. No time! We missed out on so much. If you look through those woods there, you should be able to see another white building. That is another extension of this hotel. Looks like there's some soccer nets or something out there. But this here is another entrance to the hotel. Absolute monster. Just entered Catskill National Park. Look at this view right now. I was uh, looking at some stuff outside of the hotel back there and a cop pulled up and sat behind me until I drove away. So I figured I better, better skedaddle. Better skedaddle on through on up into the mountains. In the mountains we go. Here's my view. I'm on this long drive. It's about five miles long. It says only local traffic is allowed, but it is absolutely beautiful out here. The thing that I am seeing so much here as I'm driving around in New York is there are so many abandoned places, mostly houses but some old businesses too, like old like garages and whatnot. I'll make sure and show you this, what I believe to be a big hotel that's abandoned and has collapsed within itself uh, because there's a sign that says parking and office still attached to the building. And it's just this monster structure and it literally has just collapsed within itself. You can see Right here on the corner says parking office. And it's just massive. So I made it to the end of this long drive and I'm not allowed to drive any farther, but there's a trailhead up here. So I figured I'd hop out and see just how cold and windy it is and take a little jump down that trail and see what we can find. Listen to that wind, my goodness. So here we are. Fire tower temporary closed to prevent spread of COVID. We're gonna go this way. Go down by the water here. The wind is, it literally is creepy at how loud it is, how much it's blowing right now. But I mean, check this view out right now. Look at that waterfall. We'll uh, make our way over to that, that bridge there, but we're gonna, we're gonna go down here by this waterfall first. Hopefully I'm not gonna slip and slide on a bunch of mud. Check that out, huh? How epic. And it is chilly. It is very chilly here. The wind does not help at all. I'm gonna have to go over there and see if we can get down a little closer.
Bridge. King Post Bridge. down to that waterfall. I need to be careful because I am all by myself. There you go. That's better. vehicle where I had to walk several miles and still be able to explore and enjoy the Catskills. So I just walked over this little bridge here and I see the sign and it's like a person in a suit with mushrooms growing out of his head and an arrow pointing that way. It's a little creepy. These woods are super dense. The farther I get into them, the harder it is to hear all the wind. It's like, I don't want to go too far because I don't want to get lost. Let's go this way. I can see out through these trees here is the skyline of the mountains, which would be really cool if I could get there. I just don't know how far I'd have to get there because it could be a lot farther than it looks. really cold it's very cold and this is uh my current view this trail is really really cool look at this In all honesty, standing here in the middle of the forest here in the Catskills by myself with this crazy wind, hearing like branches and stuff like rubbing against each other kind of sounds like weird animal noises. It's uh, a little creepy, not gonna lie. I don't know how far this trail goes up, so I'm gonna turn around because I'm sure the end of this trail would be amazing because it's called an overlook trail, so I imagine it would be pretty epic to, to finish it. But again, I'm all by myself. I don't know how long it would take. If I had a whole day start starting in the morning and it was warmer out and I wasn't by myself, I'd go for it. As I'm walking down the trail, I look at this little sign that's describing some of the plants around here and there's a bullet hole through this one. I also hear a weird like howling. Kind of sounds like a siren. Hmm. Interesting. So there's actually another trail connected to the one that I was walking on called the Waterfall Trail. So I'm gonna walk down this a little bit. It's pretty well marked. So it already looks like it's uh already looks like it's pretty awesome. There's a huge opening up here. We'll see how uh, it tests my fear of heights. Wow, big lookout. Big lookout. Gotta be very careful. Check this out. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. 
That is insane. Wow. Like I'm freaked out just standing here because of how high I am right now. Wow. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. We are now turning into an area called Roaring Kill. So that's uh, comforting. I'm on a limited use highway right now, but it's not too bad, but it's pretty cool looking. Some hikers down below. Check that out. <clears throat> we are heading back down out of the mountains right now. abandoned zoo that we came up to. I wanted to drive up here and take a look at it in the daytime. So I am just pulling up on the entrance to the facility right now. See the old, old pens or whatever. And you can see it says wild equines, equines of the world right back there. We keep going, you can see this pink building here. It's all dilapidated. And this building here, it's all dilapidated. This old house here that we saw, all old and decrepit and abandoned. like here in the daytime fun for the whole family I'm gonna start heading home but on my drive we are going to pass by the hotel as I passed by a little bit earlier on my way to the zoo I noticed that there was some vehicles actually on property so we're gonna go get a, a film of them and get you guys a little better view of the actual hotel facility there she is now this white van and this blazer here were not there. So there are currently people on property. So I don't know if it's security or who it is, but I guess that will uh, remain a question mark at this point. I am gonna head back to the Airbnb to spend some more time with the fam and just relax. It's been an awesome, awesome afternoon. Spending some time exploring the Catskills by myself, just seeing what I can find. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure in New York and we'll be back with more coverage in the coming days. So the other day when I was up in the mountains by myself, I was filming all over the place. Well, things have changed a little bit because look at all of the snow. There was literally, there was literally snow, snow up here. <laughs> oh, and Tiny's here. Hi, Tiny. Hi. Look at all this snow though. No snow yesterday, and it's covered in snow today. That's what mountain life is like. But it's 39 degrees and raining. It's very foggy in the mountains today. We're rainy and snowy. We're just out adventuring and seeing what other kind of goodies we can find up here. Let's go check out Colgate Lake. All right, let's do this. Let's look at this little little creaker. Even though it literally says no parking anytime. Well, right now is not any time. Oh, gooey chickens. Real gooey. We need to show the fans that we coordinated our outfits. Go ahead and cop yourself some CCPI merch. <laughs> Link on the screen. Look at this. 
It's so, sounds so beautiful. Just listen. So I think we're in a little town called Hunter, and I saw these ski hills off in the distance, but we literally just came off of the mountain road and we're nearing the base of the ski hill. So we literally came to the base here of the, the lodge. And now here it is, the ski resort, which looks like it's just utility vehicles here at this point. It's still decorated for Christmas. It's kind of creepy. See, it still has the Christmas wreaths on it. Wow. But this place is pretty cool when it's open. Let's see where this takes us. Here we go. Right at the base of the resort. Which is like completely bare and vacant. <laughs> it's like ghost town. Yeah. Okay, so there's a light on in some of these. So this may still be open to stay in, but obviously skiing is probably a no go real. Catskill. Mountain Club. Big, big, big place. This road up here is closed to the left. Let's check out, let's, uh, let's check out this ski lift, huh? And there's the big ski lift. All the way up there. Cool. Just sitting idle for the season. A little toony. Crazy. It goes so high. It scares me. Yeah, I was Ugh. gonna say, would that freak you out? Yes. This uh, this mountain club's pretty cool though. Like I can imagine during the winter time, this place is booming. Beautiful ski area, right in the middle of the Catskills. Oh, yeah. A little chilly. Yeah. Let's get back in the van. But for now, remember, it's all knee and no foot, and we will see you in the next one. I'm taking a drive up into the mountains and kind of see what I can find and what kind of adventures I can find.